as an artist, is there some things that you would advise an artist to not do on a video set or when dealing with a director? I'm sure there are some times that you've been annoyed. Don't yell. <clears throat> Don't, you gotta really control it. In this business, especially now, um, you know, when we came up, we, why everyone was yelling and screaming, the executives, the artists, the director, we were all, we were all young and crazy. It's, it's gonna be done by tomorrow. <laughs> we're all just yelling at yeah. each other. Y'all missed that moment. That moment's over. You can hear our stories about it, but you can't do that. And if right. you do do that, people don't want to fuck with you. Right. That shit has, that shit sticks to you. Don't be a dick. Exactly. Right. So be cool, you know, right. find a way. If you, if you have issues with your temper, you need to start meditating. Seriously. Right. You need to start meditating to get yourself to a point where you can control your anger and control your temper. Right. All of you, artists, direct, all of you. It ain't cute. And at a point, motherfuckers don't want to work with you. And worse, when you start yelling, you pull the energy out. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And you start you think to, A lot of young people think they're bossing up. And it's not a boss move. It's not a boss move because now you, you know what it is. If someone yells at you, you know what I'm saying? Now you don't even want to make it You don't want to do it. No and so if you're lucky, if you take a passionate person and yell at them, if you're lucky, they'll shift down to professional. If you're lucky, they'll right. say, all right, well, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do what I'm going to But you ain't getting no extra love. Right. I'm just going to do my job right. properly. Right. If you're lucky. But if you've really fucked up, they're gonna, they can't even help it. Right. You're going to bring them down to like, fuck this. Yeah. Right? And if you yell at the wrong one, it's like, right. you know, the, the key grip. What does he get out of fucking working super hard for you? He's, right. he's done, he's, Fuck this shit. I'm, right. you, you lose the energy. You lose the passion once you start yelling. Right. Once you start treating people that way. You cannot do it. Like I said, if you have an issue with your anger, you need to meditate. You need to go to YouTube and search guided meditation and start doing it every fucking day. When you wake up in the morning, I'm dead serious. <laughs> you start yelling at people in this business. They ain't fucking with you. Right. They ain't fucking with you. And you better hope the work is dope because that is the only thing that will hold your shit together. That when I was in my 20s, wilding the fuck out, thank God that the work was strong enough that I could keep on right. going and finally found how to calm my ass down. Right. You know what I mean? But, even, but even, even at that point, even if you are dope, you still don't need to be a dick. You don't. And you're you're yeah. going to get even further. The, the dope dude that's cool is going to get further than the dope dude exactly. that's a dick. Exactly. And you motivate people and they want to work with you and you're going to have fun. And this is, we're, come on, bro, we're blessed. We're, we're in the music industry, right? right? I'm, we're, we're doing fun things. We're doing this to entertain people who, you know, when they come home from work, their feet hurt and their hands hurt and they've been dealing with fucking people and they just want to sit down or they want to go out and they want to get this. Our job is to help people forget their troubles. Right. This is the entertainment business. Right. We are here for people to get an escape from their lives. Right. That is the key. Right. To, you know, to, you know, sometimes you're the soundtrack. Sometimes you're, the, you're these moments, yeah. right? You're the, you're the, since we're talking about videos, you could be the one that brings the dance that they start doing. Right. You could do that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. hey, now I'm doing, oh, there's all these things that we do. There is an important role, even though the rest of the world uh, treats us in the entertainment business like we're a frivolous part of right. life. Yeah. And we're, you know what I mean? And the undercurrent that we don't really need, hey, I'm a construction worker. You just do, you feel what I'm saying? Right. There's these, these vibes are, in the air when it comes to us. That's their misconception of what we do, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We, are, we are here to provide a release, sometimes provide an inspiration, mm -hmm. to give humanity a goal of where to reach. Where would the world be without Star Trek? Without the original Star Trek TV show. Yeah. Where would we be right now? Uh, just loving Star Wars. Would we have the <laughs> technology we have? I don't know. You tell me. It's a, legitimate, it's a legitimate question. It's a legitimate debate. Because that, that show, the things they put on the screen, little kids or young students or just scientific people watch that show and say, right. wow, yeah. that's a great idea. I'm going to make that. Right. I'm making that thing. It's possible. It's possible. I, and th th there's a world of people that I'm going to make that.